everyone and welcome back to warm robber today's video i'm going to show you two ways to loot the front of the jewelry heist stealthily i got a lot of comments in my last video talking about this either talking about the manager glitching out and still alerting the cops or that it was tricky enough to break all three cameras in the front half and deal with the guard and the civilians so hopefully both these methods will solve those issues method one we won't have to deal with any of the cameras and the tools that we're going to need is a battering ram and a lock pick method two you'll only need a lock pick but you'll still destroy the cameras in the front half, but you won't have to worry about guards in the front half. So without further ado, let's get on to method one. For method one, all we're gonna need is a duffel bag, a lock pick, and a battering ram. We won't need a kit for right now, we'll do that later. Head to the front of the jewelry store, and once we get there, hang a right to the side door and go right through it. Take our battering ram out, take our lock pick, run through this door, unlock this door. Once that's done, head upstairs and unlock the door at the top of the staircase. Once that's done, Drop our lockpick, head over to the break room, grab the utility keycard and head back downstairs. Take a right this time. And wait for this camera to turn. Once it does, head over to the utility door and turn off the alarm, head back underneath the camera and wait for it to turn again. Once it does, close this door. Close this door. Head back upstairs, grab our lockpick, and unlock the door to the left. Head back downstairs. We're done with the lockpick for now, so place it back in our duffel bag. Grab our batting ram, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Now this door right in front of us, we don't want to break it off its hinges. We just want to break the handle. So gently just break the handle. Once you do, head back upstairs. Hide in the corner over here, wait for the guard to pass. Go right behind him, open up this door, and close it right behind us. Break open the security door. Break open the manager door, break open this window, and throw the battering ram outside. Next, grab the vault keycard, jump out the window. Now that we have the vault keycard and our battering ram, we're gonna head over to this window over here and place them outside this window. While we're doing this, we have to wait for the guard in the back alley to return to his post, because he's gonna go upstairs to where we broke the manager's window. So once we got the tools outside this window and the guard from the back alley is returned to his post, we can start the next stage of the heist. Now, we gotta make sure that this guard in particular is closer to this door over here. So we're gonna wait until we see him move. Once he does, we're gonna head back to the truck and grab our kit, and this is what we're gonna do. Grab our kit, shoot out this window, hop right through, and shoot this camera. Doing so should trigger that guard, we'll beat him to the pass, we'll take him out, Grab his phone and do the check-in. Grab his body. And we're gonna drag him into the hallway. Close this door. If we accidentally run into this door, the guard upstairs will be triggered. So what we're gonna do is drag his body inside and close the door. Now what we're gonna do is wait for this guard to return back to his post upstairs before we go on to the next part. Once we know that he's back upstairs, you'll know because you hit our door close. Take out your gun, shoot this camera. Shoot the guard that comes to investigate. Take his phone and do the check-in. Drag his body inside too. And right now we don't have to worry about any guards in the front half, but we still have to worry about cameras and this is where we're gonna fix it. Go upstairs, we're actually gonna close this door. We're gonna shoot this window. Grab our bang ram. And now we're gonna break this door yet again and do the same thing. Hide in the corner, wait for the guard to pass, guard behind him, open up this door, shoot this guard, grab his phone, go into the break room, do the check-in, wait for the guard to pass, guard behind him, close this door if we want to. And just like that, we don't have to worry about any guards in the front half or any of the cameras. So all we gotta do is just open up this door, and just zip tie civilians. And just like that, method one, we don't have to shoot any of the cameras or worry about any guards in the front half of the jewelry store. And since we have the vault keycard from upstairs, we don't have to mess with the manager. Now what I recommend when you're looting the front of the jewelry store is unlocking all of them. One for XP, but two, you don't wanna make any noise cause the guard from upstairs outside the manager's office is still up there. And shooting all the jewelry cases in the front might alert him to come downstairs to investigate. And this was method one of looting the front half of the jewelry store heist stealthily. For method two, all we're gonna need is our duffel bag and our lock pick. And we're gonna head to the front of the jewelry store. We won't need a kit, we'll do that later as well. Once we get to the front of the jewelry store, hang a right and go through the side door and take our lockpick out and unlock the first door on our left. 
Once we do that, we're gonna head back upstairs. Uh, lock the door at the top of the staircase. Next, what we're gonna do is open up this door. Open up this door and grab the utility key card off the desk. Next, we're gonna head back downstairs. Go through this door, hide underneath the camera and wait for it to turn. Once it does, go over to the utility door, unlock it and turn off the alarm. Hide underneath the camera, wait for it to turn. Go out the door, go out this door. And what we're gonna do next is grab our kit, shoot this window, wait for that guard to move. Once he does, shoot this camera, open up this door, shoot the guard, take his phone and do the check-in. Once we do that, drag his body over to this room shoot this camera the next guard from the front will come to investigate we'll shoot him take his phone and do the check-in now there's no guards in the front half of the drawer store that we have to worry about and this is where it gets a little bit different what we're gonna do is shoot these three cameras so there's one in the far corner one right in the middle and one in the corner here so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna actually close this door so it gives us a little bit cover when we stand out to shoot these Shoot this close one, shoot the far one, shoot the middle one. Close this door, shoot this guard, grab his phone, and do the check-in in the break room over here. Now we don't have to worry about any guards in the front half, so what we're gonna do is open up this door and zip tie all the civilians. Now, what we need to do is go back upstairs here, grab our lock pick, Unlock this door. Unlock the door to the manager's office and open it. Now you have two ways. You can either zip tie this manager or if you're quick enough, you can go around this door really quick before the manager sees you. If you're able to do this without the manager seeing us, what we're gonna do is push him away from the desk like so and push him into the corner. Now, if he saw you, what you do is you do the same method, push him into the corner and zip tie him in this corner. And because we did this, we have access to the vault key card and all the money in the manager's office. And now all we gotta do is go back downstairs, go into the vault area, unlock this door. And we have one more door to unlock which we unlock the vault door. And just like that, we have access to the vault. But unlike method one, where we still have the guard outside the manager's office, so we can actually shoot all the display cases and not have to worry about sound. But you'll miss out on some XP if you don't unlock them with your lock pick. Once you have everything unlocked, all you gotta do is just take it all back to the truck and end the heist. Let me know in the comment section below if any of these methods made it a little bit easier to loot the front of the jewelry store heist. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. If you wanna see a funny video, click the video on the left. If you want to see more Ron Robert tips, click the video on the right. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.